Breaking news, my younger sister, Jane Hodak, has survived 25 years in the television news business, and she's still smiling. Yeah, and to think, I was there at the very beginning when she was a producer at WLMS-TV in Lansing, sitting next to her sister now here at WILX-TV. I sort of feel like family. Of course you are, David, because along with her real family, Jane has built a pretty close TV family through the years. To celebrate her Silver Circle Award, we dug deep into the Hodak Family Video Vault. For the past couple of weeks, Michigan voters have kept their eyes on the candidates. 25 years ago, Jane Hodak began her television news career in one of her favorite places, Traverse City. Rally is important. Well, Jane always liked to write, and she liked to tell a story. We knew early on that she had an interest in this, but I didn't want to discourage it because I knew that, uh, you know, there are long hours and difficult times. But at the same point, I didn't want to overly encourage her, so I didn't want her to feel pressure that she had to go into this business. But Jane never gave it a second thought. She was a good reporter, but not a fan of being in front of the camera. Turnout was very low when I was there. Anyone who knows Jane knows she doesn't like to miss anything. And she likes to take charge, which makes for a perfect producer. I remember the day that Jane Hodak walked into the newsroom at WPBN TV 7 and 4 in Traverse City. And I, I remember thinking, I'm going to work for that woman one day. Sure enough, it happened. I work for Jane here at WJRT TV now in Flint. She has always inspired me, even from the first day I met her in the News Central newsroom so long ago. She just had it together. She was organized. She was commanding. She had a plan. And the same is true today in the ABC 12 newsroom. That commanding leadership took Jane from producer in Lansing to UPN 50 and then WXYZ in Detroit. Jane's one of those rare people in TV that when things are going wrong, and believe me, things always go wrong, and people are getting crazier and crazier and starting to panic, Jane actually gets more calm. A calm leader who rose to the ranks of executive producer at WRAL-TV in Raleigh, North Carolina, where Jane produced the nation's first local HD newscast. Today we, along with you, are making history. But Jane's heart was in Michigan, and ABC 12 in Flint needed an assistant news director. She walked into the newsroom 15 years ago. Seven years later, she was promoted to news director. Everybody knows that she's got great news sense. Everybody knows she's got great compassion. Everybody knows she's got great knowledge. Um, what I don't know that everybody knows is how funny she can really be. Her saying is, is that this is not a career, it's a lifestyle, and I think that that holds true. That philosophy fueled ABC 12's coverage during Flint's water crisis. The untreated city water. Under Jane's leadership, the station's talented team of journalists earned an Emmy and Edward R. Murrow Award for comprehensive coverage. It's a cliche, and she hates cliches, so we don't like to use cliches, but it really is a family. She may have come from a TV news family, but along the way, Jane's earned respect and made a name for herself, working with the best of the best and creating her own family inside and outside the newsroom. Jane really cares as much about her newsroom and her family together. And I think she's found a way to kind of meld the two together. Congratulations to you, Jane, on your Silver Circle Award. We're so proud of you.